Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. All right, we're going to walk uh, back in history here just a little bit. We're going back into the 70s, and SPAC was really getting its legs under it. Uh, the performances by New York City Ballet were really starting to resonate in the community. Same with the Philadelphia Orchestra. Uh, there was talk that they might do a ballet gala. There was talk they were going to restore the Spa Little Theater. And just around that time, a group of volunteers got together. Uh, they became the Action Council and were really responsible for lending a hand to the administration of SPAC and made, just making a lot of things happen, including the ballet gala. And joining me today is the president of the Action Council. This is Nicole de Palermo. Well, welcome. Very nice to have you here. Good to be here. And a guest is here because we're going to be talking about a luncheon that's coming up that the Action Council puts on, and the guest lecturer is my other guest. This is Betty Spinelli. Welcome, Betty. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. Nice um, to be here. Nicole, uh, I do remember way back when, <laughs> when the Action Council was really being formed. They were always volunteers since SPAC's inception. But the uh, Action Council really did group together a bunch of people and say, what can we do to help? Um, and you've been involved now for about five years, you told me? Yes. You have, and you're the president-elect. Yes. The president. When do you take over? October 1st. You do. Okay. So just give us kind of a, a view of what the Action Council does. The Action Council is a group of volunteers, and each year we have five cornerstone events. Mm -hmm. The upcoming fall lecture luncheon is one of those. Mm -hmm. We, each year, uh, with SPAC, $250,000 back to them for world-class programming, for the children's programs, for classical music, and uh, we have a passion for the arts. Boy, you could say you have a passion for the arts. Um, the, I just want to cycle back on one thing. You said it so quickly, like, oh, 250000 That's $250,000 that the Action Council raises to go back into programming, world-class programming, right? So it could be ballet, it could be dance, uh, Vivian Anderson Children's Program, right? Isn't that yes. true? So uh, the Action Council, I think the emphasis there is the word action. And uh, let's talk about this first event. It's the luncheon. It's a 13th annual luncheon, by the way. And this year, the fascinating life of Katrina Trask is going to be talked about. And that's what you're doing. Yes. It is. So it tell is. me about what's this passion with Katrina Trask? Well, Katrina's life story is compelling. She has an incredible legacy that's local in both Saratoga as well as Lake George. Mm. And it gives me a great deal of pleasure to present her story to people that come to the area. You know, and it's an amazing story. Everyone is familiar with Yaddo, which is Yaddo, uh, I think uh, almost originally, and then Shadow and all those other things, right? right? Wonderful connections there, but also a connection to Lake George that you might not recognize. And of course, uh, philanthropy being really, she was so driven by setting up arts colonies and, and helping uh, people with the arts, right? That's true. Um, in my talk, I spend a great deal of time trying to explain uh, the difference between maybe some of the popular lore and mm -hmm. her actual essence. And there are several things about Katrina that I reveal in the talk that are not necessarily well known. Mm. Uh, you know what? I, I, I had written down, too, true essence is what the way Betty described it. I said, well, what do you do? You know, is it a PowerPoint or whatever? And she said, well, I really have become so fascinated with her that I really want to tell the story of her true essence. But I think it's remarkable because your subject matter is remarkable, right? Yes. You know, without giving anything away, okay. all right, okay. I do want you to give me just two or three factoids about her. Well, uh, one is that a former king uh, once failed to purchase the property that became Katrina's summer home. Mm -hmm. uh, another might be that philanthropy was her second largest contribution during her lifetime. Mm. And the third might be that Yaddo was the second artist colony 
that Katrina was responsible for. Well, you know what? We've opened, uh, we've opened up a couple of theme lines there that uh, if you go to the luncheon, you'll find out a lot more about yes. this, right? That's correct. Hey, um, the, uh, anything in particular that the Action Council is looking to support this year? You know, we have a change in administration at SPAC, much more program-oriented. Yes. Now, I know it might still be a little early. We just finished the first season under the new administration. But is there anything earmarked? Well, I believe Elizabeth will un reveal that as she comes through her first year. Yes, uh, October right, right. 1st, she has her first year under her belt yes. as the new president and CEO. Yes, right. And you're going to be there to support, to help, to and collaborate. to share that passion, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I hear you. Well, the luncheon, by the way, and you're probably sitting there going, when is the luncheon? Okay, well, you're about to find out. October 26th is the luncheon. It's on the SPAC grounds, and it isn't just your normal luncheon. It starts at 9.30 in the morning with a continental breakfast at the Spa Little Theater. Then there's Betty's presentation at 10 o'clock. It's the full presentation, not an abbreviated version, That's correct? correct? It's the full story. Got it. Uh, there's something very unique at the Hall of Springs that follows it called Boutique Shopping. There's a list, it must be 15 to 20, of the finest boutiques in Saratoga. We'll all be set up there in the Hall of Springs in the big ballroom, right? Uh, where you can go and get first, I think the way you said it to me was that it's your first shot at uh, holiday shopping, right? Yes. Oh, I, I like that idea too. And then an elegant, emphasis on the word elegant, fall luncheon. Yes. Well, this sounds awful nice. What day of the week is October 26th? Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Okay, Thursday, October 26th. Tickets are like $85. They want to get between three and 400 people there. They have in the past. And I just think that this is a wonderful way to find out about Katrina Trask, to support SPAC, get a little shopping done, and have an elegant lunch. Well, you seem to, what didn't you think of? Did anybody not think of something here? <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. Very nice to meet you, Nicole. Thank you for thank coming you. in. And thank you, Betty, for coming in. And as we promised, this is Betty Spinelli. <laughs> you know I was going to do it. <laughs> Thanks, very nice to meet you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.